Hi, I'm Sagi Khaviv. I'm a partner and designer at Shamayev Geis Mohaviv in New York City. And today we're going to be talking about logos for media brands. We're going to start with the logo for Venevision. I like this one. I think that it is successful in many ways and is unusual. It's unusual because it does have this seemingly traditional element, the laurel reefs, something that we're not used to see in a media context. It feels official. It feels like something that you can trust, which is uh, what you want from a channel that also provides information. The contrast between the geometric V and this organic form of the reefs, that's where uh, it becomes something that kind of treads the traditional on one hand and the modern on the other. I think all around it hits the right personality and also functionality. Now we're looking at, at Antenna Tres, appropriately made of three shapes, but there is a kind of a problem in the way that it evolved. I have some regret uh, and some respect. So let's start with the respect. I think that the silhouette is quite unusual. It's something we don't see very much. So that's a good thing. And also the kind of invisible A in the negative shape of the design is nice. It's uh, again, unusual but it's a discovery and we always like to discover something intentional. And here is where I think that the original was more successful. The original mark with the sharp edges really helped kind of keep the shapes together. And somewhere somebody probably said, it doesn't look friendly enough, we need to be more accessible and let's round the corners. And that is unfortunate in my mind. And I would say that, you know, all this rounding of shapes is really something that I think and hope that's gonna kind of move out of the world. I don't know who decided that, you know, soggy things are friendlier. I know when I eat a piece of bread, I want it to be nice and crisp. Okay, next we're gonna talk about Rede Globo. Here, it's a little complicated. I think that the mark has great potential that it's actually, the basis of it is kind of very strong geometry. It's a circle uh, containing maybe a screen proportion, but essentially a rectangle and then another circle in the middle. Unlike CBS, that famous eye, uh, it does have uh, also recalls that mark a little bit, but I don't think in a problematic way because that rectangle is quite different. It's starting off very, very good uh, in terms of a silhouette, but then somehow uh, I see there's a kind of an instinct here to add more effects, more 3D, more gradients, more colors. It's a great mark. I would just try to tone down all the bells and whistles, but I think that ultimately it's very effective. Now we will talk about Televisión Pública Argentina. For me, this is a successful one. In some way, it's a beautiful distillation of the flag, but in a completely uh, unusual way. Argentinian flag does have a sun, a circular sun in the center. And in some way, you can think about the striping around it, just wrapping around it to make a single ring. That idea of an eyeball or whatever that is uh, to represent a uh, media brand is, is quite great. I live in the United States, so, uh, you know, Target comes to mind, but this is not a competing brand. It's in a completely different category and a completely different geographic uh, location. So I don't see the problem. I think that a symbol like this can work very effectively in tiny sizes and pixel formats and in every situation that they need to use it. So uh, that's a good one. Next, we're gonna talk about Televisión Española. That sounds like something that should feel somewhat with some gravitas. Unfortunately, I don't see it here. Not having a symbol or an extraneous element can be a good thing, but when we deal with the utmost simplicity of just the letters. We have to hit the right feeling. 
the right personality. These letters that have been kind of rounded to death and I understand probably trying to make them very uh, friendly. It has become kind of soggy. The most problematic part is kind of the E that kind of inflated down and is coming down on the line. It is interesting the transformation that the brand went through uh, because initially it was awkwardly angular in the, those very problematic letter forms that it used to have. And now it kind of went all the way to the other extreme and became awkwardly rounded. So maybe in the future there's a, an evolution where it comes kind of halfway back and becomes something that has some dignity about it and doesn't look so overly playful, but has a little bit of authority and gravitas. So we saw some great things and some things that require improvement. But in general, I would say in the media space, especially, but really for any logo, think about the silhouette of what you're creating. Uh, think about something that's appropriate in the feeling of it, that's distinctive and memorable, that's unusual enough to be kind of remember and stick with you, and that's very, very simple. And if you get those three things, you will end up with something good because that's what we're looking for from a logo is that it endures, is that it lasts for many years so it can build equity for the brand and become something that everybody recognizes.